Perhaps the solution to bad circumstances is through teamwork, which you know, obviously a good component. If you're if you're willing to be you know an agreeable person and work around with the people around you that can help you out and in, in, in better a situation, right? It could result in things or result in better happenings than if you tried to do it by yourself. That it seems to be the lesson here: if a party gone wrong or trapped daughter. This is a new more Vista movie. It, it primarily title but the one they've chosen is a party gone wrong. But sometimes you'll see these films with alternative titles. This is typical for more Vista, which again, for those who aren't aware, is a TV movie distribution company who mostly does films in the realm of thrillers. They do some other films in different genres and different spaces, but they're typically known for the thrillers they put out. And somewhat infamously, because this is a studio that continues despite everything I keep saying, and probably what others are saying as well, I've seen it in never comment sections, this is the studio that continues to put out their thrillers as, well, their, their trailers for them as three-minute spoiler-ridden <laughs> short movies. That's essentially what I would call them. Because they take a 90-minute movie on average, general length for a standard um, TV film, and they boil it down to about two to three minutes of footage. With all the twists revealed. So, I, with some exception, there have been a couple cases where it's like, maybe you didn't reveal everything, maybe they were a little more obscure in certain departments, but this is typical territory for them. Let's go ahead and take a look at A Party Gone Wrong from a synopsis perspective, and then we'll start with the trailer. But first, again, general idea. This is what it says on IMDb. When a young woman and her former friend are kidnapped, they must put aside their differences and work together to survive. So again, maybe some uh, 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 some bad blood or some, you know, well... It sounds kind of graphic to put in the context of a thriller, but just like, I mean, like some disagreement between them, uh, maybe just some ruffling of emotions, but they have to put those aside in an effort to work together and better their situation. That can result in great things. Let's see if that's true. Let's see if it goes down that way. But this is, we're going to watch the main trailer for A Party Gone Wrong. We're going to watch this first and we'll talk about it more in my condensed review segment while watching the video together. Okay, without further ado, let's see how strong of a thriller this Marvista film is. And maybe if they spoil everything. All right, without further ado, he, let me see if I can get the trailer pulled up. Yep, here we go. Let's take a look. Uh, let me get it ready. Should have done this in advance. There we go. I thought we were going to the party. I haven't committed to anything yet. Sam won't be there. I didn't raise my only daughter to let some silly man dictate how she spends her spare time. You just be home by midnight. Good to see you all. Then they met again. April, don't go. I just need a minute. Oh. Can we talk? Hi, Natalie. Sam and I were never together. But you slept with him. You were my best friend, Natalie. I can't trust you anymore. Am I being a baby about this? Here. Screw it. Right for April? Excuse me, where are we going? This is like getting drunk does not help the solution. And it could lead to something like this horrifically. So was that woman involved? Trust me, everything is okay. Lift up your top. Do what the doctor says. The surgeon was hired to take our organs. I figure two hours for the surgeries, one hour to dispose of the body. This is not like really extreme. Home, okay? I thought she was riding with you. Tractor farm. She's at Layman Family Farm. Parents journey though to rescue their kids. Let's begin. And then we never have to see each other again. When this is daughters. Uh, There's some well. in here. Ladies, you first, huh? Friends of drama between them have Miss to work Bishop, together. My brother's gonna kill you if you go in there. I don't know what you did. You need to help me find my daughter. Stay back! You're in my hands now. My what do you think? What, what's the goal of this group? Like, we're taking your organs for. for what? Like, that's really extreme. Nobody cares about girls like her! Psychopathic people! <laughs> Um, but it, it, I'm glad to see that maybe they are able to put this, put their differences aside. That's not just like, you know, a, 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 like some, you know, small ordeal, right? That's like drastic. You know, we've kidnapped you and, and you know, that can happen at parties. So I would say, you know, that is probably why I didn't, I never went to college parties or anything like that, you know, growing up. Well, I did go to a couple, but they were from, a, they were, uh, uh, I was part of a Christian club in college. So they were all, they were all very uh, Christian centered and we didn't have like heavy drinking. We didn't do the booze, the partying or stuff like that. That's typical in, in a lot of different college party venues. But I don't think a solution in terms, and I get it, like, oh, I gotta get for the moment, you know, I have to see this person, I have mixed feelings on being around them, but the solution probably isn't to drink. And the woman involved here that gives her a drink, I wonder, well, let me see. I don't know if she's involved or not. I don't think it was her friend, necessarily. Like, here, drink this. Yeah, you'll be fine. And then, 
yeah, she's kind of, yeah, she's involved in, in it. Oh, man, that's sad. Um, you got to keep your guard up because you never know what psychopaths might try and take you, especially when you're, you know, under the influence of something. In this case, it seems like, you know, hostile organ snatchers. Really drastic example, but okay. Um, like, really, out there. What, what is the purpose for this? Like, do they not have enough, like, organ donors that are, like, registered on driver's licenses? I have no idea. But, uh, psychopathic. But I'm grateful to see those those two girls. And maybe the parents, you know, get, have to work together as well. And they're working on the outside trying to find them. But the girls have to work uh, together on their own. To Well, I mean, ideally, they would not be in a situation. But the fact that they are, and that's the reality here, that they have to work through it. And maybe, you know, some people, I don't know if anybody's been in a situation. Like, well, probably there's been situations, I'm sure, like this in real life. But teamwork can be your best asset. And I've seen this kind of thing in typical movies, not to the degree like we're snatching your organs. That's, that's a bit extreme, I think. I, we haven't gotten to that length yet. But I have seen like kidnapping stories uh, in the past and people you may be, you know, again, working on the inside on their own trying to uh, get out of that situation. What are your guys' thoughts of a party gone wrong? I, mean, I think they went, well, do you know, it was actually a thriller. Um, well, you know, to, uh, well, it, it, it was different. I was going to say maybe on, on how I'm judging spoilers. Um, I don't think they went too far. Maybe, maybe towards the end, like, don't give me the resolution yet, but they set up the conflict. I mean, pretty well. Maybe they could have kept the organ thing maybe secret to the film, but I think that would have been even more disturbing in that context right now. I'm like, yeah, it really is an extreme example. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Do you, don't forget all the good stuff like subscribing and hitting that bell and sharing hit that bell. And until we get to watch more from our Vista in the future, I'll see you guys at where point that happens to be. But for now, thanks for watching this video. I love you guys. Your fellow man. God bless and peace.